The results of the preliminary poll for the election of Sikayon, the executive head of the Central Tibetan Administration, for which voting was held on January 3rd, were recently announced. Leading the race is candidates Pempa Tsering with 24,488 votes, an overwhelming advantage over other candidates. Pempa Tsering isn't new to the CTA political scene. Pempa ran against the current Sikayam Lamsing Sangye in the last election. He has had his differences with the current Sikayam in the past, which resulted in his removal as representative of the Dalai Lama on the ground of loss of trust. This resulted in widespread protest and backlashing against Lao Tseng Sangye. People criticize him for his misuse of power and lack of transparency. Sangye is no stranger to scandals. In 2018, he was accused of allegedly sexually assaulted eight Tibetan women and one American woman. He was also criticized for his incompetency and corruptive behaviors. As a longtime personal friend and political successor of Lao Tseng Sangye, Kador Akatsing served as Dalai Lama's U.S. representative in Washington, D.C. Ironically, the same position Pempa Tsering was removed from. Under his tenure, $1.5 million disappeared from the Tibet Fund, allegedly used to purchase an unnecessary building. The purchase was backed by Lobsing Sangye and raised a lot of suspicion for personal interest and corruption. Many worry that many of the issues concerning the current CTA government will continue if Kader Akatsang was to elected Sekayam. Issues such as suppression of freedom of speech, authoritarian style of ruling, and financial corruption 